Welcome to Old School Garage. And before you click away, this is gonna be my camper van project on my second channel, so stick with us. So, uh, this episode is all about the road testing this beautiful, well, not so beautiful transporter. Uh, they made it in 1979, not this model, this is the latest one. This is 1990 with the 1.7 diesel engine, not the 1.6, don't mix it up. So this is a little bit different story, but uh, just a quick walk around. I know you probably click it away by now because you think what this piece of is, you know, but, but hear me out. So the project is, we're going to turn this into a lovely, lovely, lovely camper van. Well, that's the plan on the budget. I think around a thousand bucks. You reckon I can make it? Drop it down in a comment. So what you see in here is still the steel wheels on it. The plan is it's going to go up on a bit bigger alloy wheels on it. But I'll give you all the information on the second channel. On this channel, we're going to jump in. We're going to look around this van, what these are all about. Going to jump into the driver's seat, drive it. But before we do all that, shall we just jump into the cabin and look around what this 1970s van looks like from the inside. Okay, so driving one of them, it's a bit of an experience because you're sitting actually on the wheels. So it feels slightly different than modern cars, if you're not driven one of them yet. Apart from that, speed will start working at 45 kilometers an hour. So it's no power steering in one of these vehicles. Well, not in this one, but steering is super light. It's huge. I mean, if, when you got work clothes on, uh, your uh, it's not much room between your plums and the steering wheel. I experienced that. Also got these cushions, it's heated seats in this one. The reason for the cushions is because these old vinyls are super cold. It's not very luxurious, yeah? but it's reasonably comfortable for the time. I mean, I don't like these seats, but we're gonna get to that in a second channel. It's gonna have some more comfortable seats soon. I'm just thinking of the extras, but it's not much in there, yeah? So wind up windows, you got an aftermarket uh, stereo in there, which is still a tape player. We got heating and somebody already been in this van, uh, the registered keeper, I don't classify him as an owner, who replaced some of them, the switches to these push button switches which some of them doesn't do nothing some of them does now what you can see inside this is not a high quality interior heated seats well there is some <laughs> some marks uh, from usage so you can see the steel rods in this uh, seat. So this is to warming up your bum as well. And not just to warm up your bum, it's uh, to make it looks like a bit more enjoyable from inside. Let's put it this way. We're coming to the interior, but let me show you. We got a roll of tissue in here because the demister doesn't work in this van. So to clean the windows, you need uh, one of these because it doesn't dry up. Only when you're driving the van. And not just that, we're talking about the inside of the van, how good it is. So, if you jump in with me. The sound of the tin metal, it's lovely. You can hear it echoing on the back of your ears. So what we got in here is all the extras not working. So this is your heating, right? So it's meant to be work from here, but it's not working. This one not working. The fan, if I put an ignition on, I kick the clutch down. It's not working. Uh, what else is not working? We got double cigarette lighters. We got loads of little holes in here because I guess the previous owner put loads of stuff in there, which they did in the 80s, 90s. Inside it's uh, aftermarket switches because the switches are broken. So they are not very good. Uh, you got the fog light in here, fog light switch, and the huge steering wheel. 
And this lever down in here, this is your mixture or choke for diesel. So when you pull this one out, when it's cold, you can start it. So you just pull this one out, put it on, kick it in, into gear, and you got a little bit of a glow plug light in here, which is we wait, and just to see, you see how long it's gonna take. And I driven this van just recently uh, to go out, and then we can start the van. Apart from that, none, nothing is works inside, but the engine runs sweet. The glow plug light is just went off, so on the button, engine runs sweet. But yeah, that's fantastic. While the engine is running, while the engine is running, shall we just jump in and go for a quick drive? So this 1.7 engine, this is not a 1.6, 1.7, it produced 56 horsepower. Which in today's standards is not super quick. But saying it's not quick, it's adequate for the time they used it for. You know, these vans came out in 1979. The first model actually came out with air-cooled engines. They had loads of problems with it, with head gaskets, the 1.9 petrol. Then they went for a water-cooled option. And in the same time, they start producing the diesels. First, you know, they came out with the 1.6 diesel then a 1.6 turbo diesel, then a 1.7, and they had a 1.9 non-turbo. The 1.7 was a non-turbo as well, which is actually this van. Sandwise, when you're driving at 30 miles an hour, 50 kilometers an hour, it's absolutely fine. It's super quiet, it's reasonable, especially because the engine is in the back of the van, which it makes it very, very quiet. The early models was air-cooled, but this one actually got the radiator in the front. It's a long way. It's a common problem, the radiator gets blocked, then they overheat because you got some air into the system and mess up the whole system and then you got some head gasket problems. So uh, there is an issue with that because some of them, the early models, doesn't have this uh, radiator grill, especially the air-cooled one, that's when you know it's a difference. And later on, they had the square headlight one. This is a rounded headlamp one, so this is different and it's an authentic uh, yellow fog lights on it. So unusual to modern days to have the engine in the back. So this is really good because you can actually hop on it and makes it a perfect camper van. Just imagine that. Have a big canvas in here just looking around. Have a beer in your hand. I think it's amazing. Also you got a heated bed in there if you put a bed in here. The reason for it it's easy, somebody put some carpet in there to make soften the noise. And there is the 1.7 diesel engine. There is pros and cons regarding this engine. Have it in the back. Because when you want to camp in the summertime, you have to wait till the van cools down. But if you just use it as a van, like this is an actual van, not a people carrier or a camper van. If you put certain things in there, they could warm up or cooked or baked in the back. But luckily it's far away from you. They obviously replaced the bay window, the transporter T2. This is a T25. T25 stands for 2500 kilo. They had a 28 and a T30. They actually produced this car in South Africa till 2002. Even so, transporter T4 was already out, but in the same time, uh, they produced the bay window in Brazil till 2016, if I remember right. So it's a weird combination how Volkswagen producing the vans and minibuses and stuff like this abroad. So, so a strange feature in this van. In the front, there is wheel bolts. In the back is wheel studs. How many vehicles you know they have this setup? Let me know in a comment. These vans become super popular nowadays, especially people turn them into a camper vans. So the plan with this vehicle is to turn it into a camper van. What do you reckon? Drop it down in a comment. Is it difficult? Is it gonna be expensive? Let me know in a comment. And while you're browsing through my channel, you can see other videos came out as well already, car reviews, some barn finds. But if you like to support my channel, you see I got this hoodie on with the old car garage 
logo on it. So if you like to buy a jumper, t-shirt, or anything, merchandise, please have a look. I'll give you the link in description and you can buy it through amazon.com. Uh, they normally deliver next day, printed out. So please have a look. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. And I'll see you at the next time. Bye.